Number 22, the position of a particle moving along the x-axis depends on the time according to the equation x equals to c times t squared minus b times t to the third, where x is in meters and t is in seconds. What are the units of letter A? Constant C. So in letter A, you want, we want to find out the units of this constant over here. We know that x is in meters, right? x is in meters. So the left side of this equation is in meters. So to be consistent with the, 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 the meters in the, the left side, we, we need to have meters. This term should be in meters and this term over here should be in meters as well. So we have in this side, let's just evaluate this, the, this term over here first. Then we go to the second one in letter B. So we have meters, this is meters, right? Meters should be equal to the unit of C that we want to find out, times the units of T square. The units of T square is just second square. So the units of C is just meters per second square. That's it. That's the answer of letter A. Letter B, constant B. What is the unit of constant B? I will do almost the same thing. And we have on the left side meters. And on the right side, we have the units of the constant B times seconds to the third, right? Seconds to the third because it's t to the third. So the unit of B is just meters per second to the third. So this is the unit of the constant B, uh, which is the answer of letter B. Let their, their numerical values be 3 and 2 respectively. So now we have that this equation is x equals to 3 times t squared minus 2 times t to the third. So now this is the equation of the position of the particle. Letter C, at what time does the particle reach its maximum positive x position? So how do we find the maximum position of a particle? We know that the maximum position and even the minimum position, depending on the equation, would be when the velocity is zero. So the particle is moving forwards and then it starts moving backwards or vice versa. So we want to find out when the velocity is zero. This is what we want to find out when the velocity is zero. But we don't have the equation for the velocity. We have the equation for the position. So if we want to find the equation for the velocity, we have to make the derivative of the position in respect to time. So we have to derive this equation over here, which is 3 times t to the second minus 2 times t to the third in respect of time. This derivative over here is just 6t minus 6t squared. So the velo velocity in function of time would be 6 times t minus 6 times t squared. We want that the velocity would be 0. So this equation over here would be 0. And we can see, it's easy to see this equation. We are lucky that this equation is easy. So we, we don't have to make a lot of calculations to find the roots of the equation. We can see that one of the roots is t equals to 0, and the other one is t equals to 1 second. So we have to replace in the equation for the position these times t equals to 0 and t equals to 1 to see which one gives us the, the maximum positive position. So the position at times uh, at times t equals to 0 is just 3 times 0 squared minus 2 times t times 0 to the third. And this is 0, of course. And the position at times at time t equals to 1 is just 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1 to the third. This is 1 meter. So the maximum position is when time is equal to one second, which gives us one meter. So the answer of letter C is one meter. Uh, let's continue. 
from 0 to 4 seconds. Letter D. What is the distance? What distance does the particle move? This is letter D. What distance does the particle move? So the distance we have to, to, to sum the absolute value of the displacement. So the displacement just taking account the final and, uh, and the initial position of the particle. And the distance, we want to find out the, the whole distance that the particle moved. So we have to sum every piece of movement that the particle made, even if it's negative. So if we, we look at what we found at letter C, we know that the particle is moving from zero seconds to one second, from one meter to zero meters. So we can imagine that the particle is going like this, from zero, that this is zero. Then it goes to one meter. So it moved one meter, the, the, the distance, the distance of the particle from zero to one is one meter. Then it goes back to zero. So this is one meter plus one meter. And then it goes to some, somewhere else at t equals to four seconds. So we have to find out where the particle is at t equals to four seconds. So let's replace x, x of four equals to three times four squared minus two times four to the third. And this equals to minus 80 meters. So at the end of the four seconds, the particle over here, so it went up one meters, then went down one meter, and then went down one more uh, 80 meters. So if we sum everything, it would be one plus one plus 80, which, which equals to 82 meters. So this is the, 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 the total path that the, the particle traveled, 82 meters. Letter E. So this is letter E. What is its displacement? So if it is letter E, this should be letter D, right? I, I wrote it wrong here. And this is letter C. Okay, so this is C, D, and E. So what is its displacement? So we just have to find the final position minus the initial position. The final position is minus 80 meters. The initial position is zero. We, we made, made the calculation over here. So the displacement of the particle is just minus 80 meters. That's the answer of letter E. Letter uh, F, find its velocity at t equals to one. So we want to find at letter F, the velocity at time equals to one. So one second, so we just have to replace in this equation over here, t equals to one. So six times one minus six times one square, which is zero seconds. We, we've already made the calculation over here, right? We didn't need to do it again, but we did it anyway. Letter G at two seconds, V of two, it will be six times two minus six times two square. This is equal to, let me make the calculation really fast, is minus 12 meters per second. Letter H at T equals to three seconds. This would be six times three minus six times t three square. This is minus 36 meters per second. Letter, letter I uh, at four seconds. V of four equals to six times four minus six times four square, which is equal to minus 72 meters per second. Letter uh, J, find its it's acceleration. So first we have to find the equation for the acceleration. Then we just have to make the derivative of the velocity. So the acceleration is just the derivative of the velocity in respect to time. So we have to derive this equation over here. 
and it would be 6 minus 12t. So the acceleration at t equals to 1 would be 6 minus 12 times 1, which would be minus 6 meters per second square. At is this letter J. Letter K. Uh, the acceleration at t equals to 2 seconds would be 6 minus 12 times 2. This would be minus 18 meters per second square. Okay, only two more. Letter L. Jesus Christ, this exercise is huge. So the acceleration at, at t equals to 3 seconds would be 6 minus 12 times 3, which is minus 30 meters per second square. And finally, letter M, the acceleration at t equals to 4 seconds is just 6 minus 12 times 4, which, which is minus 42 meters per second square. So this is the exercise 22. See you.